Right, it's the 23rd of July. There's a picture of Bosingdon Hill, which I've got to climb with this huge heavy pack on. It won't be so heavy once I've drunk all the water. Hold on, somebody coming. Let's turn off. I'll put it down. <sighs> Morning! Pardon? I hope, I hope, I don't want to get soaked. Right, oh yeah, that's the way I normally come down, that way, isn't it? Right, she, he said, see the gate. Yeah, not going in there. I'm going to follow the signs now. Public football, Paul Marsh, Bosington 1. Yeah, what happened then? I started, I stopped at Sparkays just to read the instructions. And you can camp and use toilet facilities now. But you can't do any washing. So that's good. Um, that's very good for me. So then, because I'm thinking of Dune Valley again. Anyway. Basically. I've got a heavy pack. So I'm carrying, all, but not as heavy as it would be if I had all my camping and cooking gear though. I think these shoes will be close to finishing after this hike today because what it is with the pack on as well the weight on the on the boots going through the feet I'm gonna buy another pair there they have been good anyway we're on to but we've got a mile to Bosington I did fill two spots of rain earlier Rain is sort of forecast, but I don't know showers. The big rain's coming at the weekend. So, I got the umbrella, I got waterproofs. I can cover up my pack. If it rains, I've got a cover for it. And here we go. Oh, there's that awful orchard where I got lost that time. Foot by my mouth and I'm going to make a bath. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going that way. Right, so there we go, look. Looks like you put some more signs up since I was here last. Right, carrying on, video. This will be a perfect day if it don't rain. I've been dreading the rain. I mean, I have got a change of clothing in my bag. I haven't got change of shoes, though. No, I haven't got change of footwear. Oh. Footpath, Bosington. Right, I'm going to... Uh, oh, I think someone else is coming now. Let me just have a look. Yeah, go that way, shall. Turn off a minute. Right then, I've... After diversion, it started to spit. So I've had to put the canopy over the rucksack. Get the umbrella out. It's only a light shower on this occasion. Um... I think I'll probably just go over the top today because it's because of the weather. I don't fancy walking that section if it's raining. So we'll probably do so worthy and over the top. It'd be a quick walk, really. A lot of ill, though, at the beginning. It'll only take a couple of hours, actually, if I don't do the uh, rugged route. 
I wanted to do the rugged route. There's a few things. No, the only I managed County Gate, I managed Linmouth, managed Watermeet in the Coombe, the Lynn Valley, whatever you call it. I've managed. Didn't get to war. That'll be on the list. Um, what else? I've just spent £30 on a taxi, which took about 20 minutes. But it's part of some people have to do it. Not everyone can afford to get a taxi. It's 10.15 now. Now, originally I was getting the taxi... No, originally I was getting it at 9, then I changed it to 10. Then I decided 9 would be better. And... Uh, so I'm glad I'd done nine, because you imagine I'd only just be picked up now. Um, I had to stop at the ladies' toilets. Fortunately, they were open at Porlock. The disabled one only. Um, so I was able to use them. And there's some at Bosington. <sighs> you have to think of these things when you're out, see? Then, um, I'd like to do the rugged route. I'm going to decide. I mean, I'm going to be knackered when I do that Helston Coombe. That's going to be the killer of all the walk. And I'm just going to go it very, very, very slowly. Very slowly indeed. Um, I've seen people struggling with their backs, packs going up that. Oh, mainly coming down it, and that's just as bad coming down actually. You use different muscles in your legs. It's your breathing going up. Now it is quite warm, it's close. And I'm going to have to take my jumper off when I get to Bosington. I've decided it's too hot to wear it. I'm having to carry the umbrella for now. Just carry it like I would a walking stick. Because it, when it comes down, it could be heavy. So I've got to be prepared. But I've got a change of clothes. I've got waterproof trousers if necessary. But I'll put my shorts on. Um, the only thing I haven't got is spare footwear. So this is the mission today. Come quickly back to Porlock. Nothing's really changed. The signpost is like you had a coat of paint. Um... I've got my bum bag on, which is a weight on its own, but it keeps me tilted forward a bit. So this is a lane I've done several times now, and I've stayed at Porlock usually in September time. I think cause it's going to take me a month to recover from this properly, from the, this uh, four-day walking trip. But I do pack a lot in. Bosington's coming up now. Like I said, I want to take the jumper off as soon as I can. Because I'm very hot with it on. But I've got to keep the umbrella to hand. Glad I brought it. I haven't had to use it. We've had brilliant weather. Um, I'm surprised it was going to... They said it was rain today. Because, um... Oh, morning! Come on! Right. This is a nice horse that I met this morning. Yeah, he's got a big tongue. I said to him, it'd be nice if he could give me a lift up the hill. You laughed at me then, didn't you? Yes, you did. There's the hills I climbed the other day. I've already forgotten the name of... I did all those hills over there. I've done them all now. Um, the one right at the top, what was Foreland Point. I didn't get... I deliberately didn't go to the lighthouse at the bottom of it, but I've been right on the. I've stood right on the top of that, and I walked. See that one there where I call the crown. See that path. I walked round that. And I've been. I've done all these hills now. There's Porlock. Porlock where? Porlock there. There's Porlock. Right, bye, horsey. 
and there's Bosington Hill. <sighs> All we've got to do is hope it's not going to absolutely bucket down. It's going to be a very wet uh, experience, which I avoid usually at all costs because wet straps cause um, soreness. Wet straps will. <sighs> actually, it'd be better if I kept my jumper on, though I'm hot with it on. It actually adds a bit of protection to my skin. It's an extra layer, if you know what I mean. It's like a double skin. No one out yet. And there's another view. We get loads of these views when I get up the hill. This is pretty Bosington with its thatch roofs. Another sign. Yeah, they have done them up the signs. They've. Uh, Whitened, that's whitened. Hurlstone Coombe is the one, three quarters of a mile to that. Once I get up that, that's the biggest thing today. It's, it's almost, I'm almost, almost dreading it to tell the truth. Um, it's a pity we're not sure about the rain. It's lovely flowers. Lovely flowers. I can't remember what they're called. A little stream. Lovely flowers. Look at these lovely flowers. That. And their lovely cottage as well. Look at that. Right the way up to the flower. Ah. Let me just turn off and take a picture. A bit more video. It's just beautiful flowers to greet you. Mixes inspiring, aren't they? Look at this beautiful thatched cottage here. Ah, beautiful. And the old stable, look how old that is. The pillars. Oh, look at you. Little sheepies. Hello. I remember you last time I was there. Uh, your long ears. Chilling out. So, this is Bosington, everyone. There's um, toilets up here. There's a cafe. I think there's somewhere you can get something to eat in, uh, in the daytime. Um, later. Oh, I don't know. It's probably up now. I'm not going to... Uh... stream Love a Myrtle Cottage It's lovely isn't it? Poor lot one mile Oh look at that Fairy's Meeting Place Isn't that cute? Rose Cottage Little fairy look Oh, lovely. I think it's going to bucket down in a minute. It's ah, lovely, isn't it? Oh, 
Welcome to Bosington. A few hikers out, if people are going to risk it. And there's the place where they do the, the teas there, look. Let's just go and have a look. Over and out, everyone. <laughs> 